Good day everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to the channel. We're approximately 24 hours away from Space Seniors leaving early access and going into release mode. This is a monumental step for the game, having first entered early access in 2013 and then going to release in 2019. It's been quite a lot on development stage, there have been plenty of players from back in 2013 to from new players in 2019 as well. So I'm making this video today to tell you a little bit of how far SE has come, but also help those new players out and those players who might be returning. As I'm pretty sure I can understand that some players might have played Space Engineers back before certain updates, may have not liked it and may have wished to return at some point. So if you are a returning player to Space Engineers, sit tight as I'm hopefully going to help you out in this video. Fire all missiles. Taste of revenge. Aim at the I don't think they are prepared. Okay, it looks like we need urgent repairs in the engineering section. Let's send in the boarding party. Alright guys, it's on me. Here we go. I'll bring the parts. Okay, so one thing I wanted to go over quickly is how far Space Engineers has actually come. It's been in early access for about 5 plus years now. During this period, the game has uh, been developed quite a lot. I mean, we've seen over 200 updates, which has changed the game quite a lot. If you've been around since the early days but not checked in recently, then you might have not seen that planets were actually added. This is a big update back in 2015. We've now obviously got Earth planet, Mars, the alien planet, a couple of moons. Quite a variety to the star system you can find in Space Engineers. Along with that, the HUD and UI has been worked, reworked many a times for Space Engineers, but you can now find it a better user experience. There's more blocks being added to the game now, obviously with the major survival update that comes out tomorrow, we'll have an additional new couple of blocks as well. If you found it previously hard to get into survival back in the old days of Space Engineers, you are now going to find it a lot easier. We've got the inclusion of obviously the survival kit and the progression update. If you are a new returning player to Space Engineers and are looking to play survival, I heavily suggest you go through with the progression side of things in Space Engineers, as this will gradually walk you through, mean being able to learn and play the game again properly. The great news about the major survival update which does land with the release of Spaces tomorrow, Thursday the 28th, is there's actually a quite a few new scenarios in which you can test out Space Engineers. I heavily suggest you play the starting one called Learning to Survive, as this will walk you through the process of, you know, doing everything in Space Engineers, from mining, to engineering, to welding, to grinding, to building ships, and obviously going down to planet side. It's a great thing to do in Space Engineers, so I do recommend you check out that scenario. And then if you feel like a bit more of a challenge, try the Drone Survival Challenge, which is quite challenging and uh, will definitely put your engineering skills to the test as you have to survive the oncoming waves of NPCs in the Space Engineers universe. It's quite fun. I've tried it myself in one of the tests uh, and I highly recommend it. Even for veteran players like myself, it does add a little bit of a challenge. So if you are a new player, you're also going to enjoy that. Now, a couple of the other updates which has happened since the launch of Space Engineers is the improved multi-threaded physics, so the physics now handle a lot better. We also have the inclusion of air tightness as well, so it's quite nice to see that being implemented, as now you can play with a little bit more of survival realism, which is a very nice. And also we've also got super large worlds as well. Maybe when you start playing Space Engineers, several of these features weren't actually out, but now worlds can go on for quite, <laughs> quite a while, so you can journey around going through them and uh, finding a lot of things that are there. Not to mention as well, there's been tons of optimization, so if you previously could not run Space Engineers, in the last couple of years, there is a high chance you can now maybe run it. However, check the ending of this video as I might have something to help those out for those who still struggle to run Space Engineers. Another interesting update for the game is of course the major multiplayer update. If you're like myself and really enjoy playing Space Engineers in multiplayer, where you can get tons of friends in to build your giant Star Destroyers and stuff like that, then you'll previously know that before, you know, back in the olden days of Space Engineers, multiplayer was not ideal and was quite glitchy. Well, luckily for us, back in 2018, Keen Software House, the developers, released a major multiplayer update which redefined the entire multiplayer experience of Space Engineers and really allowed us to play a, you know, a lot more of the game. And I loved it and I can definitely recommend you try it out. So if you are a new and returning player, then uh, you're definitely going to enjoy the multiplayer experience compared to what you might have experienced back from 2013 onwards. It's uh, quite challenging and changing now. Obviously, the game's audio and visuals has been updated, so maybe you might like this again if you didn't previously like it. Survival mode is obviously something I just spoke about. Survival mode obviously being in space in since 2014 has now seen a redo uh, in 2018. And again in 2019 with a major multiplayer survival update just around the corner, uh, survival is going to get overhauled once again to uh, be a little bit more cooler. And of course if you are like one of those players who likes pushing the boundaries of games, 
Programmable blocks are in there along with modding support, antennas, landing gears, solar panels, cargo ships, meteorites, encounters, asteroid clusters, visual scripting, a realistic audio mode, in-game help and more. Personally I think it's a great time to get into Space Engineers, so if you are a new or a returning player, definitely get into the game when it releases tomorrow. Speaking of which, if you are looking for some multiplayer servers, I personally host two for my community and we'd be honoured if you could join us via our Discord server down below to come and play Space Engineers with us on the launch day, that being Thursday the 28th. It's going to be a great time for any type of player of Space Engineers, whether you're a veteran player, a new player or a returning player, you are definitely going to enjoy this. So I've seen quite a few community posts in the last couple of days saying, hey, I've not played Space Engineers since 2016, 2014. I'm returning to the game, but I feel a little bit different about how to play it. How do I get back into it? Has much changed? Well, I've just ran you over quite a few of the changes to the game. Obviously, you can read the entire change log, which I will link down below if you should read it. But I've covered most of the major updates, those being a major multiplayer update. We've had the visual update and the audio update. We've also had the air tightness update, and we've had a physics overhaul as well. So a lot of the core game has been redefined since you may have previously played it. If you're looking for a cool survival experience, then I definitely recommend you know trying out the new starting scenarios. As I mentioned previously, the learning to survive scenario, which will launch with tomorrow's update, is definitely something I recommend for any type of player in Space Engineers. No matter if you just want to you know freshen up on the survival experience, you are going to find that scenario uh, be a lot more accommodating to you. It's not like the original campaign one. This one is actually a bit better and uh, more helpful to you as well. So I definitely recommend trying it out. It's quite fun. Even being a veteran player myself, I found myself brushing up on a few skills I'd actually forgotten about. We're in Space Engineers, so, you know, it's quite helpful for even my types of players sometimes. So, yeah, I definitely recommend playing that. Now, of course, there are plenty of tutorial videos on YouTube as well. I definitely recommend you checking them out. Space Engineers themselves, the developers, have actually released a tutorial video series, which I'll again link down below in the description should you want to check it out. I myself will also be releasing a couple of tutorials on how to survive in Space Engineers in the coming week, so you're more than welcome to wait around for them to see how I survive in Space Engineers and create an interesting survival experience for myself. I can't wait to share with you that the game is going to be fantastic when it's launched, the update tomorrow is looking very interesting, but I am personally excited to see the game come out of early access and go into a launch window. It's going to be an amazing time to be a Space Engineers player. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a new player, you're an old player, or, you know, you're currently playing Space Engineers. You are going to enjoy this update and also appreciate the fact it is coming out of early access and going into release mode. I am super excited for it and I cannot wait to see what the community does with this. Particularly with new mods, new features, and just taking advantage of where Space Engineers is today. I've already covered a VR project by the community, by, by a community member known as Secton. It's amazing to see how far the game has come so far. Now I know a few community questions are, Jack, I struggle to make my ships look good in Space Engineers. Well, luckily for you, I'm actually going to launch a little mini-series soon, talking about how to refine your creations in the game, make them look a little bit better. I'll be doing this with a few of my game hosts called Dr. Kraz and Venom415, as we're going to teach you how to make your builds look that little bit better with just a tiny little bit of detail. I know a lot of people previously said, hey look, I'm returning to this game and can't remember how to detail my builds. Well, luckily we're going to be on hand to help you. But don't worry, I know this is going to be a fantastic time for all Space Engineers players as we look back and see how far the game has come so far. And I urge you to come and join me on Thursday the 28th as we launch Space Engineers together. I personally will be over in Prague in the Keen Software House developer offices for Space Engineers celebrating with them the launch of the game. We'll be live on Twitch around about 5pm UTC, again I'll leave the link and details down below. I highly suggest you go and read Mark Rose's blog post as that pretty much covers what the idea of the launch is going to be. Now you're probably wondering, but Jack, with the launch of Space Engineers, does this mean they're done with it? No, they are not abandoning Space Engineers. And obviously you're probably thinking, but Jack, what will come next? Well, luckily for us, the developers did give us a hint of what will actually come soon in Space Engineers. They uh, hinted at a new small block which looks like a cryo tube. But also the idea that Space Engineers will be expanded with new features, blocks and scenarios. It's great news for the game, so like I say, no matter what type of player you are, you're going to appreciate the game and you know, look forward to the future. It's a great time and uh, I personally can't wait to celebrate with you. It's going to be quite fun. Now Xbox players, I wanted to focus on you for one minute as I know quite a few of you who watch my videos are saying, Jack, when is the Space Engineers Xbox version coming to, you know, coming out? Unfortunately, I don't have any more updates on Space Engineers Xbox mode at, at the moment. I wish I could and I'm going to be trying to get you some more updates when and where I can so make sure to subscribe and stay up to date. Keen Software House did say that they are still working on the Xbox port for the game. 
However, there is no sort of other updates on it. Apparently, it's one of their top priorities and it's still being worked on, but uh, we just don't know anything about it at the minute. So it's uh, quite a shame to see where it's going. Hopefully, in my interview with Mac, which should be coming up soon or as soon as I schedule one, I will ask him about the Xbox version, try and get a little bit more out of him there, and uh, we can hopefully discuss that in greater detail. I know quite a few of you want it, and not everyone has access to a PC, which, you know, can run Space Engineers, it's fair enough. And that leads me into the second point of this video, one of the many points, because damn, I go on a bit. So maybe back in 2014 or 15 or 16, when planets were added, you think, Jack, ah, oh, damn, I couldn't run Space Engineers, my system didn't handle it very enough. Well, luckily now, in 2019, we've been through tons of optimizations for the game. So if you previously turned off towards the game because, you know, you couldn't run it, well, luckily for you, you might have actually had an optimization phase now, and therefore you can try running it again. I have this just waiting until the official update rolls around tomorrow before, you know, jumping into the game and actually playing it, because uh, then you can actually test the optimization, as I know with the major survival update, they will carry a few optimization patches with them, so I definitely recommend trying them out. In the meantime, however, if you are looking for a PC system which can actually help you out running Space Engineers, then I'm going to recommend Shadow. Shadow is a high-speed cloud gaming PC. It basically allows you to run games via the cloud. You have to have kind of a strong internet connection to run this, but basically what it does, it allows you to play games on the cloud. I've played Space Engineers through my Mac on that. Previously, you cannot run Space Engineers on a Mac, or particularly Mac OS, unless you do a Hackintosh. Looking past that, obviously with Shadow, I can load up Shadow on there, play Space Engineers on the go. Considering I'm actually out of office this week, as I'll be over in Prague with the Keen Software House developers, I'm actually going to be recording most of my videos via Shadow, uh, particularly playing it through my Mac, and therefore using Shadow to actually access Space Engineers and cover the update. So if you're one of those players right there who, you know, personal rig is not that up to scratch and are looking for a new system to hopefully leverage high-power gaming content, then Shadow is the thing for you. It allows cloud gaming, and I'll leave more links down to it down below, Definitely check out my coupon code, it'll give you a little discount on there, which will actually help you out, and I get a small kickback from that. I'll leave some more details down below about Shadow, including my video on how I play Space Engineers on my Mac, and you can check it out and think for yourself. I just wanted to offer a new sort of way, so hopefully some more of you can get into Space Engineers and experience the fun. As I previously mentioned earlier, I am going to be celebrating the launch with Keen, but that doesn't mean I can't celebrate it with you. My Space Engineers public servers are open and ready for business as soon as the update goes live on Thursday, so make sure you're all on board and ready to go via my Discord server down below. I can't wait to jump in and play more of the game with you, and if there's any videos or new things you'd like to see, then please suggest them down below. This is a great time to be a Space Engineers player, and I can't wait to share the rest of this year with you. Thanks for watching, I've been Captain Jack, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.